Welcome back to the 2019 Battle at Waterworks, uh, sponsored by Launchpad Disc Golf. I'm here again with Jerry Launchpatterson himself. <laughs> Thanks for having me here, Jordan. And look at that view of the city from Waterworks, man. What a great view. One of the prettiest whole ones. In the hey, look at that guy. Look at that view. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been cold. I don't remember being cold, but I had gloves on. It was a cold morning. I know my hands were freezing. All right, here we go. Hole 10. Mike's still up, down by one. And this is pretty much just a short of the short pin, correct? Yeah. Um, I was trying to remember where we had the basket last year. I think you had it up top yeah. on the long position. So this is a shorter pin position, and it's kind of in a goalie. So you got to get uphill and then down. And then uh, the green is really uneven and just painful, which I liked. Yeah. I think it's a kind of an ace run, even though it's on marksman. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You could throw a hyzer right up there at it. You just got to split those two trees like Nick and keep it low. I think he got one oh. of those ghost branches. Yeah, he's got the second tree. There we go. Look at Coop's drive. Nice. I wouldn't be too upset at that. I'd be yeah. happy that I'm... I'd be happy taking a three on any of these holes. Wow. Mike just getting warm on these marksman yeah. baskets now. He's got to figure it out. Cooch keeping it a little low. Jit. Oh, off the front rim again. Oh, no. Air ball number two from Nick. I think he had metal there. <laughs> he had a little bit of chains. Yeah. He got all of them this time. It, yeah, he probably would have hit metal on the marks or uh, Mach threes, if anything. Like I said, the green is pretty rough. I'm a big fan of tougher greens. There's a lot of them out here at Waterworks. All right, that puts Mike okay, two down now. Cooge is up two. Um, Coop at six. Yeah, and Jits 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 at plus five. five. <laughs> All right, hole 11. Had the basket in the same spot. It's about the longest you could put it on this hole, and it's on like a nice flat concrete pad. So, yeah, you just want to throw a nice little hyzer up there. There is a road to the right that's OB and behind the basket. Um... That's the short pin he just threw, too. It's not a bad spot to be yeah. It's a pretty straightforward shot. And Coop is running for you. Oh, yeah. I remember this. So, yeah, I was going to. There's. Yeah, you're safe, bro. He must have been trying to take my head off for making him play this marksman basket yeah. event. <laughs> Cujo landing over where Jit was. Giving a good bid. Yeah, good drive up there on the nice hill. He's definitely have a putt at it. Long run by Cooge. Puts him close to the basket. Jit giving it a good go. Maybe a little high, a little long. Coop playing it smart. Yeah. Just getting close to the basket. From there, it's downhill. I think Mike did the same thing. I mean, it's straight downhill, and you you, you do not want to catch a roll there. Nick with his birdie oh. putt. Oh, no. I feel for these guys. It, it looks a bit high and to the left. I mean, possibly a Mach 3 would have caught it. Yeah. But 3 is good. Yeah, 3 is great on this hole. These guys and these guys all played it very smartly, in my opinion. Coop's got the lofty flippy putt going. I think that's his strategy for the marksman baskets. Nick's just like, ah, just dunk it. <laughs> He's going with the dunk shot. All right, Mike is still the only one under par. Cujo 
is at two over Coop six, Nick at three, and Jit at five. All right, hole 12, and this is one of the playoff holes if, if needs be, but we did move the basket up on the hill this year. Um, why? I don't know. I wanted it to be more visible. Um, I th thought it would be maybe a more reachable mm -hmm. shot with your drive. Um, I guess the consensus is still out on that. but It's reachable because... Coop is throwing a wasp here, and he parks it. Yeah. And, yep, there's – I had to enter that clip. Dog with a hat on. I mean, uh, yeah, he doesn't need a dog, dog hat. It rasks Cujo a little bit. <laughs> Cujo just smashes that way over the hill, 900 miles away. Nick just flirting with that mando tree. Doing the same thing. Just Going a little smashing it way, way over there. He's playing out of position. Well, that's the thing. I think, you know, where I put the basket, it's like at the, like the crown of the hill. So either you're left side, you're down the hill, or right side, you're down the hill. So you're still, you have to get to the top of the hill where before the basket was further, you know, down the hill. So you get over there and then you pitch up to like a flatter area mm -hmm. where the basket was. I think that one was more of a death fight, too, because it's kind of on that little ledge. Yeah. Nice putt. Yep. There we go. Coops, too. <laughs> Give him the basket some love. Everyone else tapping in for the threes. I'm nervous for him. Oh, yeah. Great putt. I'm nervous for Kujo right here, man. <laughs> All right. Mike's still two down. Kujo two up. Nick's three up. Jet and Cooper now tied for five up. Full 13. It's just a, basically a straight shot. I mean, the basket sits a little higher than the tee pad, but, I mean, the whole valley and everything is just deceiving. I mean, you just want to make it through that gap right there, hook up, and park it like Mike. Yeah. There you go. Be like Mike. Do what Mike does. Just stabling out some. You get over there, and it's, it's really, really uphill. It's wide open though, so yeah, I'd rather be left than right. Yeah, right, you're in a tree line, you're still going uphill. Left, you're not in a tree line, and you're going uphill. What do you think Nick was throwing there? I think he threw maybe a destroyer. But he heisered out, he ended up landing just a little bit low. Ooh, that was close. That's it, it. The camera's so deceiving. It's yeah. so uphill. It's crazy uphill. He had some down. He was had downhill footing there. Downhill footing, throwing yeah. uphill. Yeah, that's just terrible. And having to walk up there too. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, good run. Nice and smooth. Nick just joined the band, and yeah, here we go. Me. Waterworks. Come on. I think he put some voodoo on it right there. He might actually be putting with the voodoo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it's like the same putt. <laughs> Good putt by Jit. Mike for his birdie. Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Good bird, man. That's a great drive. Coop's pod just looks like he doesn't care. He's just, just a flippy floppy. In, man. Yeah. Oh, man. There we go. That's the ideal play. Yeah. The slam dunk. Wish I was tall as him so I could just do that. <laughs> 
I mean, that gives you a better view of that hillside there. All right. Hole. Hole 14. Um, oh, yeah. I moved it to the right this year, and I got some good feedback on it because everybody was saying the distance was really deceiving. Mm -hmm. So I only moved it, like, 50 feet to the right and maybe uphill 20 feet. And last year it was in a position where it was surrounded by OB. But this year it's to the right side of the fairway. So it's hard, unless you're a lefty, it's hard to get down that right side of the fairway and then have it stick. Koo just kind of turns this one over to the right. And with a consistent wind, too. Yeah. There's, There's always, always wind, wind on this hole. If this would hook up, it would be looking good. It's hooking up late. And that was a bottom sand destroyer. Oh, the man. reason why I know it's because he said that was a bottom sand. Yeah, that looked like the distance to me. Yep. Nice up from Mike. Cujo with P2X. Both, have, both of them have a tester putt coming out of that, though. Nice grouping there. Man, they're all right there. They don't want to go too far because, as you can see, it slopes downhill. There's a road. The wall is OB. Oh, my, missed that one. <laughs> he, he just laughs. I love that about him. Here we go. Yeah. I love this trot. <laughs> It's hard to get them to stick when they're that high in the basket. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do but laugh on this. Unfortunately, man. You want to see them stick. It just makes it a little bit more challenging game. Alright, Mike's still one down. Coop's three up, makes four. Five up, Jit and Coop are tied at six up now. Hole 15. I think it's a... We got a couple of... Uh, that branch right off the... Off the T. Bush and tree left. Yeah. So I moved this basket just closer this year. Um, still the same shot. You got you can throw you know, a hyzer at it or an anhyzer at it or, or, or a dead straight. Or a judge. Or, you know, <laughs> throw a putter at it like Coop. This looks promising. Yeah. Oh, boy. If that stuck, that was that was Joey H. parked for sure. Nick's leaving it high. There's a lot of trees up there, Nick. Might just be getting frustrated <laughs> from this round. <laughs> This looks great. Oh, wow. Sit. Come on. There we go. Wow, Cooge must have got a roll down the hill there after he hit that tree. Yeah. Because that's, that's a long ways down. Mike giving her a run. Do you think he wanted to do that? I think he did. I think he was going for it. Oh, oh. wow. Come Don't on. Don't do it. Oh, oh boy. Again, getting waterworks, I mean, it is a thing. Everybody knows the term. My kid's now in the band. Yeah. This putt man was on. Oh, boy. That's tough. Got to get him dead straight and oh. in the center with some, with some luck. Some waterworks love right there for Cujo. So that was a great putt by Coop. Nice and low and in the center. As well. That was his drive. With his judge. With his judge. That yeah. green judge. So Throws that a lot. So the, yeah, yeah, he's been throwing that for years. So the judge and the wasp have been really kind to him today. Yeah. Interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think there's a bad that, like yeah. Nick. Oh, that one. 
that was a brutal hole for Mike, man. I hope he can yeah. really shake that off. It's now plus one. Cooch is plus three. Um, Coop and Jit are plus five. And uh, poor Nick is now plus six. Yeah. This, uh, this hole This hole's is... easy, man. Just throw a hyzer at it. Yeah, no but big it's, thing. it's death all around it. So, same spot as last year, ideally. I mean, we moved it maybe 20 or 30 feet forward, closer to that tree. Um, if you don't know the hole, there's an extreme rollaway chance to the right of the... Interesting. Yeah. Of the um, the basket down to OB, so you definitely want to land, you know, to the left or right underneath the basket and try to not to get a roll away. And it looks like these guys are just staying way to the left. Oh no, that was a good run, but like I said, that green right behind just the like basket it is. is extreme death. Mike actually does go OB on that putt. Report. Unfortunately, but Nick actually stayed up top. Oh, nice! Yeah. And as you can see, they've done some work there to try and keep those rollaways to a minimal. But I think did amazing work because I've seen some difference on that. Here we go. One. Nick finally finds a low center and gets her in there. Woo! Cooge finding the top of the basket. Rolling down the hill and taking an unfortunate OB stroke. Oh no, he got the flip on the last hole. <laughs> yeah. It's still a good bid though. So yeah, we've had some interesting score changes in the last three holes here. Yep. Anything can happen on these marksmen. Yeah, anything can happen on the marksmen. Anything can happen at Waterworks, um, especially with the marksmen. As you guys seen, you you hit that cage, and you can get a crazy roll aways afterwards. It's just unfortunate. All right, hole seventeen. One of my favorite holes out here, especially in this pin position. Um, normally in tournaments, you see that Mando sign there. We, we, we play the Mando so you're not throwing over the road. Um, I didn't do that. Yeah, I, I liked, was, I liked the over the road shot. I was a little nervous when they threw off the tee, missing or, yeah, missing the Mando technically, but yeah, I didn't hear anything. I'm not part of this card, so. Nope. Yeah. So, same, uh. Same spot as last year. We had it down there. I love the spot. It's close to the road. Um, the green is pretty pretty hard to get to and pretty hard green to stay on. Coo just smashes this forever. And does it? No. He actually stays OB. Oh, man. Flipped a little too much. Mike throwing a nice hyzer down there. I'm sure he wanted to be a little more to the right, but that's still a fair shot to get down there. And Jit with the Tommy and rolling in bounds. Very nice. Kuja's up shot from the OB. And that sidewalk there is in bounds, even if he landed on it. Ooh, this looks high. It's safe though. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. Mike giving it a good run. Oh, right under the basket. Man. Nick looks like he's guarded by this tree somewhat. Man, and he actually hits it. Yeah, he's right here. Come on, Nick, you got this. Yes, here we go. Great putt. Oh, I bet he's so happy. <laughs> Cooch for his four. There's those guys from playing their first tournament. Oh, yeah. Playing we, on Marksman. Yeah, we had this, these older guys. Um, first ever disc golf tournament that they've ever attended. And they came out to Waterworks. 
They played on marksman baskets. And I'll tell you what, after the round, they had nothing but positive things about oh, okay. the tournament That's good. and about disc golf in general. I think we really got those guys hooked in, and I hope to see them out. You know, I, I, yeah. I steered them in, in the paths they need to look to, you know, to get involved in things like that. So, yeah, we that was really around. exciting. And that's the Thanks one of the cool things about Launchpad events. It's, it's geared to get newer players or players that aren't experienced at tournaments um, out in a tournament style atmosphere to you know help them get rid of the jitters and things like that. Coop with his putter. Yep. I'm happy to hear them that had they actually had fun, especially on these marksmans. Yeah, they did. I, I they mean, didn't know the difference though. Okay. I was like, <laughs> uh, this is a really tough tournament. Oh, oh bouncing off the OB wall, inbounds. Very nice. Mike knows this hole very well from my, oh no. <laughs> Unfortunate OB for Mike. I do like this position. I wish the waterworks layout would always stay in this position. Well, I mean, it's just the uphill position's great. It's a terrible. I mean, it's awesome, terrible green. Mm -hmm. um, I love it, but I feel you know you're already playing on the marksman basket. No, yeah. no need to put put you in a position where you're basically putting right. on a straight up and down hill. And you're already basket. tired from all these hills you've been walking. Oh. Bang in the basket. Death putt. Death uh, putt. A little bit low. Front cage. Yeah, yeah Coop. Nice putt. Jit tapping it in. Retrieving his bird. Cooch tapping it in. Must have missed Mike's up shot. Um, that should be for his four. Nick, Nick with the slam dunk because he knows how to do it now. Yep. Thanks for playing, guys. And here's the, I think, the final three. The final two. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we do, you know, like a fun little awards. Tina's got to steal everybody's soul, take everybody's picture. Um, I think it's fun. It creates more of an atf atmosphere. All right, and when There's a, the a lot of people division, that really stick around afterwards and for this. Still yeah. not the and uh, I wouldn't keep doing the world. it if they did. No, I think really <laughs> Badass! Badass! You know, I award every player down the board that, that cashed mm -hmm. and I call them up, you know, I give them a chance to say something. Really put a spotlight on them. Hell yes. And I, you know, I think it's great. Thanks for everybody coming out. I gotta thank the KCFDC. If you're not a member, go to kcfdc.org, get signed up. The reason we have these great parks in Kansas City is all attain to that club. They do a lot of work. They do a lot of stuff to get these tournaments going. So make sure and support them. And most importantly, thanks to PCash and the DDKC for allowing us to have these awesome baskets to use. Woo! Again, our next event is on 420. It's at Blue Valley. Uh, Tina and Eric Oakley will be there with the free clinic beforehand. And Jamie will also be out with yoga. So. Keep an eye out for that. Come join us. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much to Pete Cashin and Dynamic Disc, Dynamic KC, um, all the guys that work down here. You know, it wouldn't be possible without Pete um, to have these events with the Marksman Basket. So I, I really hope everybody, you know, when they see him out, give him a chance to, you know, say thank you um, for everything this guy's yeah. done for Kansas City Disc Golf. Yep, we yeah. owe a lot to them. And then, when's the next event? Hopefully I can get this out before then. Alright, so our next event is April 20th at Blue Valley. We are using the Marksman Baskets. We are playing the inner course at Blue Valley. And uh, Eric and Tina Oakley will be there to do uh, a clinic beforehand. Okay. And it should be a lot of fun. And still the same price, $20? Yep, for... same ticket. Okay. And uh, that will conclude the Marksman Challenge. Thank you, Jay, for doing some commentary. Yeah, thank you for filming, Jordan. And see you next time.